morning everyone welcome back to the channel my name is hope and this is mission keto and today is day six of my 75 soft challenge my restart we'll get into that later um, but it is the morning it is Wednesday uh, I'm getting ready to make a cup of coffee before I start work and I thought I would bring you along today because I'll show you what this entails my 75 soft challenge um, pretty excited about it today I also wanted to film because I'm doing um, Zumba tonight as my movement my 45 minutes or so I don't know how long it is but uh, my friend Nancy found a free class in town and we're gonna check that out so I thought that would be fun I don't know how much of it I can film but I can at least tell you about it um, but I'm excited about it so we're getting ready to make um, my second cup of coffee I'm gonna have the mushroom coffee um, my first cup of coffee is always like right after I get up and I'm chilling on the couch just relaxing I put my collagen in that and I use the equip collagen um, right before work is when I'm usually doing this one. This is the mushroom coffee I've been talking about. I've probably been taking it for a little bit over a month now, not religiously, mostly on the days that I work. It's my second cup as I'm getting started for work, but I'm a paying customer now. I know a lot of you guys were wondering, keep you updated on what I thought about this, and I really like it. Do I honestly feel like all of my brain fog is gone and you know, all of that stuff? I don't know, I don't know. I don't think it's harming me. It's delicious. It's a way of getting um, some good mushrooms in and not having caffeine, that kind of thing. And it tastes delicious. So I don't know, but with everything else that I'm doing, it's definitely not hurting. And I love it because I got a handwritten note from the founder with this order and she did let me use my own discount code so I got a little discount but she said hope we're loving your content and collaborating with you have a wonderful rest of your week Tatiana the founder the founder but the card says when you support a small business you're supporting a dream thank you for your order and that is so true now there are so many mushroom coffees out there there there's I've, I've seen them I've seen them and a lot of them will like lure you in with giving you free products every month and all that if you're part of a subscription and that's great but I'm sticking with this one it is a you know woman led company um, in Alberta Canada and I'm just I'm thankful that they reached out to me because I've always wanted to try it and now I have and I love it and here we go so it's very simple if you haven't seen I'm gonna open the package but it I think it's like a teaspoon that they say you put at the bottom of your cup and you can make it in your Keurig you don't have to like warm up anything pot of water on your in your tea kettle or whatever you can if you want but I just throw instead of just a teaspoon I found that that wasn't strong enough for me I just kind of put a little bit at the bottom just cover the bottom of my mug and that seems to do enough flavor for me but look at this cup I carried a watermelon dirty dancing I got this my mom found it at like a uh, not a thrift store but like a antique store that she visits a lot and she got it for me I absolutely love it I love it and I can hear Jennifer Gray baby saying I carried a watermelon but anyways so I just make it in my carrot I take out the K cup you don't want any leftover grinds that might be in there put the size cup that you want and hit brew so that's what we're doing and I you can flavor just like you flavor regular coffee I'm gonna put some half and half and my stevia drops in it so I'm gonna get ready to head to work now uh, you probably won't see me again until lunchtime and I don't know what I'm gonna have for lunch I really struggle with like figuring out what I'm gonna eat in here because it's just a hassle pulling things out and all of that, but let's go to work. Hey everyone, welcome back. It is 12.51, I'm getting a late lunch, but it's just been one of those mornings. I'm warming up my lunch right now, and as soon as it's done, I will share it with you. But listen, no AC going. Can you believe it? It is like in the 60s here today. 
in Central Florida. I'm in a sweatshirt. I'm always in a sweatshirt though. In the mornings, it gets cool in here. So I, I just feel comfortable in a sweatshirt. Um, but the second I walk outside, I'm like melting. But we've got the windows open. It is so nice here today. This is like the perfect weather, except the sun isn't out. It's a little bit cloudy, but that's okay. But today I'm making something easy for lunch. I'm going to have a couple of those Teton grass-fed Polish sausages that I got from Costco. If you haven't seen that haul, I will link it for you. It's a pretty good quick haul. Um, I also have some sauerkraut that is left over that I need to finish. I also like to throw some cheese on top and a little bit of mustard as well. So they're almost done. Let me get them. Oh yeah, they are sizzling. So yeah, I'm just gonna have two of those and those will probably fill me up pretty well, but I'll see what it looks like after I put them together. But for those of you who don't know, I wanted to kind of talk to you about why I restarted my 75 soft challenge. So one of the things that I love about the 75 hard challenge, and I wanted to incorporate it into my soft challenge was the fact that if you miss a day, you have to start over. So knowing myself, knowing that I could not do 75 hard when I made up my challenge and a lot of the 75 softs do this, they'll have uh, work six days a week and I'll pop up what I'm doing right here. Um, you work out six days a week, give yourself like one day because life happens, right? Sometimes you, maybe you don't feel good or whatever the case may be, everybody is different. So I was doing that. I had it planned out that it would always be Wednesday and it's the middle of the week. I'll have my Wednesday be my break day. That could change, you know, whatever. And then um, I fell and cracked my skull open. And that story is coming. I know I keep saying that, but that story is too long. We're gonna do a video that's kind of updating you on that, what happened there, because it's pretty funny. It's funny because I'm okay. And the future of the channel and just a couple other things. So we're just gonna kind of update you guys on things. And we're gonna do that all in one video. It's just a matter of every time we plan on doing it, something happens. We had another minor emergency this weekend with the RV where we had no power. There was smoking burning going on. It's been fun. But anyway, so when I cracked open my skull, I was like, I can't work out right now. And I'm thinking, well, let's at least give it one day. And then I'm like, no, it's got to be more than one day. So it ended up being more than one day that I had to take a break. And so I had to restart it because if you're missing more than what the challenge is, you got to restart. That's the point of the challenge, right? So Obviously anybody can make it however they want, but it kind of makes sense to me why some of these 75 hard people get so mad at us 75 soft people because we don't take it seriously. But in my case, we do. I know a, there's a, been a couple of people that have restarted because they, they even said it in our Facebook group that they had a couple of wonky days and they had to restart it. And I have complete respect for that because that's what we're doing. We are trying to do 75 days in a row of following what is the challenge, right? So that's where I'm at. That's why I restarted it. I want to be completely fair and honest and do this thing the right way. So I was not going to start until November 1st, but my friend Nancy persuaded me. She's like, why are you waiting? Just do it. I was feeling healthy. Everything is good up here. Uh, and everything is good. So needless to say, I restarted on the 10th and now I am on day six. So yes, and I'm loving it. I'm excited that we're doing it. Um, Andy is killing it. He's gonna give you an update on that as well. But so that's what's going on there. But here is my lunch. It is two of the sausages with some shredded cheese, sauerkraut and some mustard. It's just delicious. So we're gonna have that. Andy is off playing pickleball. I think I told you guys that I'm going to be doing the, um, I'm going to try a Zumba class tonight, which I'm all over doing a workout, like a cardio workout. I'm going to wear my brace and be very careful with my knee, but I'm excited to do something like that because the elliptical is boring, boring. <laughs> but I hope you guys are enjoying a very quiet 
no loud AC right over me making all that noise. I mean, it is what it is. I'm not gonna sweat while we're recording, but that's it. So I'm gonna eat, then I'm gonna go outside with Ralphie since it's so beautiful and let him play in his little fenced in area that we have for him. Maybe I'll get some footage of that for you because it's really cute. He likes to chase the lizards. Although the lizards, it's kind of chilly, so they're not out. Um, but we'll go out there and hang out for a little bit. I'll get my reading done for the day. And yeah, so let's go. So this is Ralphie's little setup that we have. We have this outdoor pet fence and we thought we would wrap it around there. That was kind of like the perfect fit around this little pavilion type thing, gazebo-ish. And these lizards love to crawl. He heard the word all over this thing and taunt him and he will actually jump inside that cart too it's so funny get in but he's really been like occupying himself it's very nice and with the weather like this look at his tail wagon so he sees one he sees one get him ralph get him <laughs> As soon as I shut off the camera, he'll jump inside of it. I would love to see you, have you see him jump inside. It's so cute. But I'm going to sit out here for a little bit. This is the book that I'm currently reading. <clears throat> I got really into it last night. I'm going to probably finish it by the weekend. Um, I'm really liking it. We'll talk about this more um, when I do a book talk video. I'm going to start doing that thanks to you guys and your um, support on that. I'm pretty excited about it. This book is good. This is my first book I've read of Kristen Hanna's and uh, not really. I didn't think it was something that would be my speed, but I'm really enjoying it. So, all right, I'm going to read for a little bit. Okay, it's 5.07. I am getting my electrolytes ready, filling up my last... Uh, Stanley of water. I have to do three of these a day to get to the three liters of water for my challenge and I've done good today. I'm on my last one and the good thing is I know I'm going to drink it because I'm going to work out. So I've got my knee brace, my water, and I used mango chili electrolytes um, and that's it. So I'm heading out Let's go do Zumba. Let me know down below if you've ever done a Zumba class. Out of all of the workouts I've ever done, which are a lot, Zumba is not one of them. So I'm pretty excited about this. Let's go. All right, so we are here today with my friend Nancy and we're doing Zumba. And uh, I'm not gonna film anything because nobody wants to be on my YouTube channel, except for me. <laughs> and that's debatable. But I will show you afterwards, uh, tell you what I thought. But I'm pretty excited. I got my brace on. Let's go. Okay, so I am back from my very first Zumba class ever. And let me tell you, that is hard if you're not used to it. Um, just, there's so much movement and so much going on, you really have to get the hang of it. So we are hooked though. We are gonna do this every Wednesday night. It's a free thing that's being held locally in the town that we're in and it was pretty awesome. It was an hour, so I got an hour's worth of movement. I only have to do 45 minutes and it was great. And I didn't have any pain in my knee or anything which was even better so very excited about that um i'm going to make dinner now and i'm trying to decide what i'm gonna have here we go i think i know what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna make one of my cheese egg life wraps the hack that i came up with that i just love so much you put a layer of cheese on a skillet and you cook it up and then you put an egg life wrap on top of it because egg life wraps have no flavor whatsoever. And this just kind of helps it give it a little more flavor and you get the cheese really crusty and brown and then you fill it with whatever you want. And we have done many different variations of sandwiches, um, remade some sandwiches uh, from a Reuben sandwich to chicken parm sandwich to meatball sandwich to Philly cheesesteak. We have a whole playlist of them, but it's delicious. But I think I'm gonna put a little bit of pesto 
with some like I think I have some provolone left if not we'll just write regular cheese and then some pepperonis I thought that would be really delicious so um, I'll speed this up and watch it or, or show it and then definitely see what it looks like at the end because it's already it's already 7 30 at night but I finished my water too I am done with my water for the day so this is the last thing I've just got to eat we do have to take our picture still and uh yeah that's it so let's make dinner Okay, so here it is. I made Andy one too, but um, see how the cheese gets nice and crispy on the outside and it's just like, it looks kind of like a taco, but you just fill it with whatever you want to fill it with. I put the pesto, some, it's a blend of like mozzarella and Parmesan and then some of those big pepperonis. So this is what's for dinner tonight and that's probably going to be it. Um, so thank you so much for watching. I finished everything on day 16 of my 75 soft challenge. Um, if you're doing it or a variation of it, let me know down below how it's going. Keep up with it. I'm proud of all of you. Just making small changes is a great thing and we got this. So see you on the next one. Bye.